Don't judge me, judge your lace. back with another video if you're new here my name is Tandy thank you so much for watching today I'm going to be transforming myself into none other than Riri herself I get so many comparisons to me and Rihanna I honestly don't know why because I, I don't see it I figured this look would be kind of simple enough to do to show you guys an everyday wearable look I don't even have on any lashes and you can't tell me nothing in this look okay period I look like Riri period end of discussion let's get into this video I got glitter on my face from filming yesterday I'm so proud of how that look came out if you're not following me on Instagram make sure that you are following me I'm seeing like a lot of dew in her skin so I want to make sure that I'm prepping my skin well I already have my skincare products on but next I'm going to move into my primer I'm gonna use my favorite primer all of the products that I use will be linked down below and for me a good primer is something that has good SPF in it. It also allows kind of like a sticky surface. Not like too sticky. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to use the word sticky, but it allows the skin a nice good grip so that way any product, i.e. your foundation, when it goes on it, it can really hold and adhere to it. Feeling good, looking better. And y'all see what I do with my hair? I kind of am going for that same like loose wave that she was going for. She's giving me a lot of skin right now. So I'm going to shake up my foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the Vital Lumiere Aqua Foundation by Chanel. I really like this foundation because I don't like a heavy foundation. If I can feel the foundation on my face, that ain't it, chief. <laughs> you feel me? Just going to take that foundation dab it on my skin this foundation is super lightweight it also has a good amount of coverage this foundation is a little bit pricey it's about 50 dollars, but it's totally worth it i feel like this is a look that a lot of us try to emulate so i figure you know if this is a relatable look why not recreate it see how now i just look completely even Love that. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer because it does look like her under eye is pretty bright. So for concealer, I'm gonna use Fenty Concealer. It's only right to use Fenty. And she has a very bright under eye. Honey, I don't usually go that bright, but you know, we gonna commit to the look. I'm just gonna take one stripe, two stripe, three stripes. She has some on her forehead. Looks like she took it down the bridge of the nose too. Rihanna, I didn't know you were this big on concealer. Do that then, sis. I'm gonna use a brush to blend out. I personally like brushes. Let me know in the comments if you are more of a brush or a sponge person. I really do like this Fenty concealer though, but I think the shade that I have though is way too light. I mean for this look it obviously works but that's the one thing about Fenty with me like their complexion products as far as foundation and concealers there are so many options. I am the type of person I don't know if you guys know this but like I'm a Gemini so I get very overwhelmed when there are too many options on the table. So I get overwhelmed to the point where sometimes I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I don't even want it anymore because it gives me anxiety. It just Okay, now that my concealer is in place, I'm going to take a sponge and dip into my Fenty Beauty banana powder just to set those areas. Once I put that banana powder on it though, I'm looking at the monitor, it doesn't look that bright. Because before, ooh, it was pretty bright there. Oh my gosh, y'all, and this powder smells so good. Not like an overwhelming smell, like <clears throat> some powders out there, but it just smells really, really good. Take a little bit more of that powder and put it around my mouth. Just because I do crease in that area a lot. And we also want to, you know, kind of camouflage the mustache. Next, she's got hella bronzer on. What I want to do is do a little bit of cream contour first. And I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. Warm it up here on the back of my hand first. I am ready for some new 
music by Rihanna. I'm sure she's tired of her fans. Actually, no, I know because she said it herself. It's tired of her fans coming for her about new music, but Ri, we need the sauce, sis. I'm just glad that she's still putting out new Fenty products because as a makeup lover, I'm here for it. Don't judge me right now, okay? The look is gonna come together, I promise. I'm gonna take that same foundation brush just to start blending out that contour and on the forehead i'm brushing down so that way the product stays in place and you see how that instantly gave me a shadow on my forehead yeah that's what we wanted okay cheeks popping out or whatever ah! this brush is definitely clutch and one of my favorite this brush was so inexpensive this is by wet n wild um don't ask me what kind of brush it is but it's this one and this brush is so nice at blending out cream products. Now let's go in and use a little bit of bronzer, a powder bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer. The shade that I'm using is In The Sun, and this is actually the lightest shade. But as you can see, I get a lot of use out of it. I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm doing wonders with this brush. I'm telling you, this brush is popping. This brush being so flat like this, it's able to just smoothly glide over the skin without disrupting the foundation underneath. A lot of times when you place a powder on top, it doesn't really like transition well. I think I got this brush for like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And don't be afraid to take your bronzer into your hairline. That way everything is a little bit more seamless. I'm trying to get rid of that double chin, you feel me? Because you've been eating a lot of quarantine snacks, okay? Don't judge me. Judge your lace. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just buff all of that into the skin, making sure that I have a seamless blend. I don't want any kind of harsh lines. I want everything to be nice and smooth. I see she has just a little bit of color on her cheeks. Not a whole lot. It's giving me more like orange vibes. It looks like it has some shimmer to it. I'm gonna take Chili Mango Matchstick. Warm it up on the back of my hand again, right? That's what Chili Mango looks like. I'm gonna try to apply it with my fingers. Yeah, that's like her color. I personally love an orange blush. Now what I wanna do is take this fluffy brush and buff that into my skin. That's so pretty. See that cheek? Ooh! <laughs> now, she does have nice brows. I don't have the Fenty Brow Pencil, but I do have my Dior Show Brow Pencil. I'm gonna speed through this. There's already a brow routine on my channel. I'll leave it linked down below in the description box if you wanna check that out. I'll see you back when we get to the eyes. Okay, so now let's move on to the eyes. Now, looking at the picture, Rihanna has this very like natural, like a contour shade in her crease and then a little bit of shimmer, which is perfect for everyday wear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Mocha and I'm not going to prime my lids or anything because this is a very like natural kind of look. I'm gonna put that all up in my crease area. Little Mocha never hurt anybody. This is a look that I would wear any day. That's one thing I love about Rihanna's makeup. I love the fact that she always has effortless makeup look, but it's always achievable by even somebody who's not that makeup savvy. I'm gonna use my Jackie Ina palette. I'm gonna dip into ginger over top of that cream contour stick just to really deepen that up nothing crazy just putting this in the crease area should I zoom you guys in some let me zoom you in a little bit and just buffing out that color looks good to me I'm actually gonna take a little bit just a teeny tiny bit of credit so I'm content with how that looks now let's add a little bit of a shimmer to the lid for shimmer I think I'm going to dip into this shade right here. That's cute. Okay. Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted it to do. That's what we looking like. Clean that up. Let's go in with our mascara because she does have quite a bit of mascara on. She's got it on the top and the bottom. We've got lashes. 
So for highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of Hustler Baby. I got the little mini. Just going to dip into that. As you can see, this gets a lot of use as well. She's only highlighted in this area. Although I don't feel like I really need it because as you can see, that Chili Mango really has a lot of highlight in it already. So I'm going to be kind of subtle with this. Time to move on to lips. Rihanna has a very nude lip. Looks like she might have just a teeny bit of liner and some gloss so no biggie so i'm gonna use this nyx lip liner pencil in the shade sandstorm yeah sandstorm because it's a little bit more cool tone and hers looks very cool tone you know what my lips are looking crusty let me use a little bit of lip scrub okay so my lips are scrubbed i'm gonna go ahead and add this liner oh yeah that's the perfect color yes and Rihanna underlines her lip, so I'm gonna try to do that. Cause y'all know, normally I overline. Add a little bit of gloss. Actually, her lips look a little pink, but I'm gonna try to just add a little bit of this Fenty Beauty lip balm. And just let the natural pink from my lips kind of peek through. Yeah, that's a vibe. Okay, you guys, I am back. Accessories are on, hair is slayed, okay, body is glistening, period poop. I really enjoyed filming this look for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of my future uploads. Share this video with your friends too, you know, maybe they stay in Riri as much as I do. I hope to see you soon. Bye.